I'm Jay Jackson. Coming up, I'll show you how easy it was for me to lose 85 pounds in less than 10 months. Welcome to episode 21 of The Chosen Frozen. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey there, welcome to the episode, episode 21 already. Congratulations to those people who are already losing weight. We're getting reports of people losing 10, 20, 30 pounds since they started watching these videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Also click that little bell for all of our notifications. Then like and share this with your friends. We certainly plan to change the way the world eats, one person at a time, one meal at a time. Now a couple of quick things before we get started. Always shout out to Men's Health Magazine for the great interview that appears online in that magazine the number one men's health magazine in the world. Also want to uh, ask you to go ahead and download that app, MyFitnessPal app, or any app that allows you to track calories, because you do track calories when the chosen frozen, but I I'll show you a very simple and easy way, an effective way to do it. Now, let's get started. As you know, with these videos, we break this down into three very important categories. First, I talk about the mathematics of weight loss, and that's where I show you the numbers that I use to help me lose all of this weight. Second, we talk about the practice of weight loss, and that's how I show you how I put those numbers in a day-to-day, hour-to-hour routine that just makes it so simple for the weight to fall off. Now, if you've seen these videos before, of course, you can go ahead and skip past these two segments. It's just a review of all of the other uh, videos and the information I've given in the other videos. And then finally, the third segment is the chosen. That's where I'm talking with the more advanced chosen frozen subscribers. People have been doing this a while. They're losing weight. I give some new tips and also the frozen food of the day. Now, let's get down to it. With the mathematics of weight loss. This is one of the two main pillars of the chosen frozen, the mathematics of weight loss. And this is how it breaks down to how I lose weight. I eat 300 or less calories every day, every three hours, up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories. That's it. Again, I eat 300 or fewer calories every day, every three hours, up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories, and that's how I lose weight. That is one of the critical pillars of the Chosen Frozen. Remember to keep it to 300-ish calories. Right now, I'm going only 300 and below. I've said sometimes higher, sometimes lower, but right now, because I've lost so much weight and need to lower my total calorie intake, starting here at episode 21 and further episodes, I'm going to just say 300 calorie or fewer meals or less meals, 300 or less calorie meals every three hours, every day, up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories, because as you lose lose weight, of course, you're going to require fewer calories. And that's one of the adjustments I'm making here at episode 21. Now, to get to, to get clear on this, one thing you have to do, and a very important thing to do, is go to Google and type in 300 calorie meals, and you'll get a wide variety of the different meals that you can find for 300 calories, because that's the first thing people are asking me. Well, how do you know what a 300 calorie meal is? Well, Google that, and you'll have hundreds of different options uh, that will show you what a 300 calorie meal looks like. And, you know, one of the important things that you want to have a 300 ish calorie meal is, in fact, the critical thing about it, and this is the reason for it, is that you are constantly keeping your metabolism, your personal fat eating machine inside of you, going at an optimal rate all through the day, eating fat. 300-ish calories is right at the sweet spot. If you go over that by much, say five, 600 calories per sitting per meal, you're going to overload. You're going to flood the engine and it's going to bog down like any engine. If you put too much fuel in it, it's going to bog down. If you put too little fuel in it, like you say with these restrictive type diets, the engine's going to stall like any engine. And so it's not going to do its job. You're going to accumulate weight and fat. But if you keep it at that sweet spot, and that sweet spot is 300 calories, and for me now, 300 calories or less, then that's going to keep that fat burner going at its optimal rate throughout the day. You're not going to spike. You're not going to go down. It's just going to go at an optimal rate. It's like a locomotive. It's just straight through that fat and eats it all day long. And before you know it, you're losing weight and your life has changed. Again, the pillar, the pillar of this, one of the pillars is the mathematics of weight loss is 300 or fewer calories every three hours, every day, up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories. You lose weight. There are critical numbers to remember in the mathematics of weight loss as we now move into the practice of weight loss. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And welcome to the practice of weight loss. As always, we talk about what practice is. Practice is doing something over and over and over again until you get it near perfect. And that's what we're talking about here is the second critical pillar of the chosen frozen. Remember, we're dealing with 300 or fewer calories every three hours, every day, up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories, right? Well, you have a limited amount of time in the day from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. So you have to plan those three-hour intervals in that time from you wake up to the time you go to bed. 
I generally wake up at 8 o'clock and I have my first meal at 8 o'clock. And then my next meal, of course, is going to be at 11 o'clock because that's the three-hour interval. And then after that, it's 2 o'clock. And then after that, it's 5 o'clock. And then after that, it's 8 o'clock. And that's generally my last meal of the day because I go to bed around 10 if I'm not out and about. But that's the critical, second critical thing to remember. If you're talking about 300-ish calories every three hours, every day, up to 1,500, 2,000 calories, well, there's a limited amount of time in the day, so you have to plan out the time of the day that you start. And I start at 8 o'clock, so my next meal is at 11 o'clock, and then 2 o'clock, and then 5 o'clock, and then 8 o'clock again. Let's say you start at 7 o'clock in the morning. You're an early riser. Well, that okay, if your first meal is at 7 o'clock, then your next meal is going to be at 10 o'clock. And the next meal after that is going to be 1 o'clock, and then 4 o'clock, and then 7 o'clock. And you're eating 300-ish calorie meals in all of those different three-hour intervals. And that's how you will keep that fat burner going all day long, just eating up fat. And before you know it, I'm telling you, your clothes are going to get too big and people are going to give you compliments. And then you just finally, finally have found the way in which you will control the weight. So that's the key and second pillar of the Chosen Frozen, the time slots of the day. Let's say you eat at 9 o'clock. Well, then your first meal, 9 o'clock. The next one's going to be at 12 o'clock and then 3 o'clock and then 6 o'clock and then 9 o'clock. All of this up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories. That's how you will keep the fat burner going. That's how you will get the weight off your body. It is very simple. And you can do this with any kind of food you want. You can eat anything you want. I just want to stress that you, as long as it's around 300 calories and you're doing it every three hours and you keep within those time slots and you're doing that every day up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories, which is about five to six meals a day and that's a lot, then you will lose weight. It's as simple as that. You don't need to join a plan. You don't need to buy shakes. You don't need to eat candy bars. You don't have to restrict yourself from anything that is out there edible to eat. You can eat anything you want and that's the important point here in these talk about the practice and the mathematics of weight loss because one of the primary problems of people who have food eating issues is that you know we can't stop ourselves and we have to have certain things and uh, you know I have to have a waffle or I have to have my pancakes or I have to have my cheesecake or I have to have my pizza and I have all of those things on this plan I enjoy it every day and I don't feel guilty because I know that if I keep it to 300 ish calories then I know that by the end of the day that meal is going to contribute to losing weight because it's going to contribute to my fat eater be, um, losing weight and eating fat because that's the way I think now. I don't think in terms of feeding myself food. I think in terms of what does my fat eater want and to keep it going at its optimal rate. And it wants 300 calories every three hours every day up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories. And I do it in perfect time slots. I start at 8 o'clock. I go to 11. Then it's 11 o'clock. And then it's 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Now, it doesn't have to be right at those times. Sometimes I eat at 8.30. Sometimes I eat at 815 but 8 o'clock window is what I'm talking about and same for the 7 o'clockers it's 7 10 147 and for the 9 o'clockers it's going to be 9 12 369 the bottom line is it's three hours after after your first meal of the day at 300 ish calories and you are going to lose weight and that is the second and critical pillar of the chosen frozen the practice of weight loss bounce, bounce, bounce. And now welcome to The Chosen. This is where I'm talking to the more advanced Chosen Frozen subscribers. People have been doing this a while. You're getting lots of compliments. The weight is coming off. You're looking great. You're feeling great. You're realizing that it was an entirely different person that had been covering you with a lot of fat and a lot of weight. And now you're at that person is starting to come out of that cocoon and you are becoming the butterfly that you always knew you were. So congratulations for those of you who have started on The Chosen Frozen. You know that this is the way you're going to live your life. You know this is the way how you're going to eat for the rest of your life you know that you can even fall off of it and get back on it if you need to because there are important things such as cheat days that you will need to do and I enjoy having my cheat days I go crazy I mean I have a cheat weekend sometimes I go up to 8,000 8,500 calories in a weekend eating anything I want because I'm reigniting the fat burner as the body knows and what the body does it gets used to uh, eating plans once you change them so you have to you know switch it up every now and then give it a, a good swift kick in the butt and to keep on going and keep operating for you. That's the important of the importance of the cheat days where you can really have 
everything that you want, you know, in this plan, you can any anything you want. There are zero food restrictions on the Chosen Frozen, but you have to keep it to 300 calories every three hours for that to be effective. Otherwise, you're just bogging down the fat eating machine. So you, uh, when you have your cheat days, though, you can go crazy, eat as much as you want, whatever you want, and make sure you eat a lot of it because you have to reignite that fat burning machine. And that's the important uh, part of being part of the Chosen Frozen is understanding that you are really just kind of working with your fat eating machine. You give it a reward every now and then, and it will just keep doing its job and the weight will keep coming off. Now, you can have all of those things on the Chosen Frozen, no restrictions, zero food restrictions, but then there are some better options. Of course, you can cook your food and make 300 calorie meals, very easy to do. Again, if you Google 300 calorie meals, you'll find that there are tons of options, but you know, you're eating a lot of food on the Chosen Frozen. So that can get to be expensive and it can be tedious making all of this food all the time. I found the simplest way to do this and the most effective way to do this is with frozen foods, which is why this is called the Chosen Frozen. That's the third and critical pillar of the Chosen Frozen, the frozen foods. I don't have to, I guess I'll say it again because people ask me about, you know, how safe are frozen foods and sodium and preservatives and that sort of thing. These are not the old days of the hungry man foods where they're filled with preservatives and packed with sodium and all kind of craziness. The modern Modern food, frozen food, is a technological wonder of food. It has all the nutrients you need. It has everything you need listed as far as sodium count, calorie count, right on the box. And that way you're able to gauge and measure how much you're putting into your body. Most people don't even know how much sodium they're putting in their body every day. And it's generally around 3,000 milligrams. Generally with the frozen, chosen frozen, I put maybe 1,800 to 2,000. And I'm looking at exactly what the number is. I know exactly what that number is. That's why these frozen foods are awesome. And it, it allows you to uh, have uh, control of all of the numbers of everything that you're putting in your body. So that's why the third and critical pillar of the Chosen Frozen is the frozen foods. And of course, on all of these Chosen Frozen videos, what I do is review a frozen food of the day. And today it's going to be a healthy choice, Simply Steamers. They're honey balsam balsamic chicken. It's, again, Healthy Choice Simply Steamers Honey Balsamic Chicken. Now, this is an interesting one. This isn't a very flavorful meal. It's kind of bland, but that's good. That's what you really want because that allows you to season your food to taste. And as you know, how we season our food is we don't season our food based on what we think the flavor will be. We season here at the Chosen Frozen based on the color of the meal. Okay, let's get down to it. We pop it in the microwave. We follow the instructions to the T. As you know, with these Healthy Choice steamers, it's really quite simple. You just pop it in there. You don't have to lift off the film or anything like that. And then you mix it with the mix that's already part of the package. And what I do is I bed a plate of shredded iceberg lettuce and I put the food on top of that because what I do is like for it to steam and kind of melt that lettuce down and then once you stir that together you will have an excellent added texture to the meal. This one I didn't let steam in long enough so it's a little still kind of uh, solid there as far as the lettuce goes but generally it will steam down and then it will add texture and flavor to the meal that wasn't there before. Now let's get right down to seasonings. We season this based on the color, not on the uh, flavor of the food that we think. We, we season it based on the color. It's just a new and interesting way to do this. And of course, jumping out at us right away is the red. Those are little tomato chunks. And I, for the red seasoning that will match that color, I go with the cayenne pepper. That's always a great way to heat up the mouth. And then looking at the white, that's the chicken. I'm going to go with minced onions here. Minced onion, I'll add a little onion salt as well. That adds flavor. Looking at the Brussels sprouts, we're going to go with um, some cilantro here, and that's always excellent flavor add to it. And then finally, for that honey balsamic glaze, it's a dark brownish color. I'm going to go with nutmeg, and nutmeg is going to add that flavor to it too. And this is only a 210-calorie meal. fits right there in the Chosen Frozen. And it is an uh, excellent meal once you season it to taste. And I guarantee you're going to enjoy this particular meal because, <coughs> excuse me, because you can season it to taste and it's only 210 calories. And that will definitely keep you full for at least three hours when you have your next meal. So in review, the chosen frozen, the three critical pillars that you have to remember, 300-ish calories every three hours, every day up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories. You're going to lose weight as long as you're doing this in a structured time. Do it at 8 o'clock. 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 8 o'clock. You're having 300-ish calorie meals in all of those time slots. Or if it's 7 o'clock, you're going 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 300-ish calorie meals. And then finally for the 9 o'clockers, you're doing this at 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 
3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 300 ish calorie meals. Again, now that I've lost so much weight, I have to lower my total calorie intake. So I am now saying 300 calorie or fewer meals, 300 calorie or less. I think it's less. But um, yeah, that's the trick now, 300 or less calories. So I find these meals that are 300 less calories. And there's tons of options out there that you can go do this. And you will immediately start to notice the weight coming down further because I'm approaching 90 to 100 pounds now and getting into that territory. And, um, you know, it's just a co complete transformation of your life. Uh, it's not just losing weight. It's, it's understanding that you can control the weight. And that's the most important thing for people like us who have struggled with weight all of our lives because we just don't have control of it. We've tried the diets. We've tried the, the fasting. We've tried all the different things that uh, are designed to help us lose weight. We spend lots of money. Even people that get gastric bypass, they gain the weight back. That's how powerful weight is uh, if they're not watching it very closely, and oftentimes they do. And so you go through all of that process, spend all of that money only to gain the weight back. On the chosen frozen, what you gain and learn is control of weight, and that is the critical thing. That's why it's so important. And that third pillar is the frozen foods because you can control the numbers. You can control everything you put in your body. These are high-tech foods that are healthier than most of the foods that you're eating out there. So don't be afraid of that. Those old days of, you know, uh, high preservative, highly chemical, highly salted foods, those are gone. You can find lots of healthy options out there that will allow you to control your weight. And that is the critical thing to get in your life transformed under the chosen frozen. Thanks for tuning in once again. This is episode 21. I'm Jay Jackson. Bon appetit. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Baby, bounce. Snap back, can I put it on Snapchat? Make it go clap, clap, clap. I'm gonna need a nap now. Got the bed squeaking, baby girl, you freaking. No need for speaking. Look back, get a peek in. Tell me how you like it. Tell me how you need it. Tell me how you love it. Tell me how to squeeze it. Got me going crazy.